Hello, everyone. How are you doing? How was your day? Hello. Are you there, guys? Can you hear me? Hello, Ana Cristina. Hello, Peter. How are you doing? Se le ha acabado la máquina. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh. Voy a encender la cámara. Okay, go ahead. Hello, Karina. Hello, Edwin. Hi, Silvio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm sick. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Seriously? <laughs> no I'm way. Ah, okay. But, but it's this. It's, 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 okay. It's, <laughs> it's no just problem. a cold. It's just a cold. It's cold. It's cold. Okay. It's just a cold. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Nothing to worry. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Well, because in these days, everything is to worry, Silvio. <laughs> yeah, everything is to worry. So please take your medicines and you um, have to take a rest, okay? And tea. tea. Yes, some tea. tea. Yeah. Hey, tea. now you remember, uh, you remind me a, a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to tell you this joke. I saw it in a meme, right? <laughs> uh, very deep. Uh, but they said, uh, I was working in the front desk at a hotel, right? And then I received a call from a guest, right? And this, uh, this guest said, to teach to room two to two. And then I answer, room, room, pa, pa, pum, right? So after that, I was fired. Okay. Why, why were you fired? Um, because I didn't take the two T's to the room two, two, two. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Uh, yes. I was. Um, it, it, it is really for me. It is. It is really a good joke. <laughs> ya lo había oído. Huh? Yes. Yes. I, 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 uh, okay. So. You knew it. Okay. <laughs> ah, es un chiste que me encanta. I love that joke. Uh, cuando lo oí por primera vez no paré, no paraba, no paraba. Quizás he pasado dos días riéndome por ese chiste. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Karina. How are you doing? I don't see you guys. Please turn your cameras on because I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. And let's remember for the uh, of the requirements from Insafor. We have to have our cameras on as much as we can during the class. Okay. And also, please. I need you to participate too, okay? I want to encourage you to participate. So I'm gonna take the attendance now, okay? And hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good okay. evening, teacher. Good evening, Annie. Okay, we're gonna start with the attendance list, okay? I'm gonna, I'm going to check. You in, you all in. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Ani, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana del Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales.
Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Good evening. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. For some reason, this is not. Okay. Um, Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Eh, eh, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Eh, Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Eh, Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Ok. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Kevin. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Okay, uh, Nancy Beto Bar Rivera. Again. Okay, Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ok, Kevin. What date is, this to, uh, is it today, guys? What date is today? Today is September 2 of 2021. Ok, September the 2nd. Remember the ordinal numbers. September the 2nd of 2021. Okay. Everybody, what date is today? Today is September the 2nd of 2021. At least I want to see you moving your lips, guys. Okay. September the 2nd of 2021. 2021. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's start tonight. Teacher, I, yes. I saw uh, that year is, is grown to, to say 2021. 20, it's no, it's not, it's not a mistake. No, it is not wrong. Uh, you can say that. Perfectly, you could say 2021, yeah. Um, you can separate the years into two ciphers, okay? Into two components and yes, you can say 2021. Okay. Okay. To start, we're going to see. Yes. Okay, my dear people, I want to, um, I want to show you that now we are going to start studying the unit three. Oh, yes, we are doing it, guys. We are getting it. The uh, total topic, I mean, the total content is about customer service. 
Okay, customer service. We continue talking about buying and assisting clients and helping people in the company. Helping people means clients, okay, or customers, okay? So in this module, the unit one was purchasing and storing. Now we know what is purchasing, right? And what is storing? And we learned about how to um, uh, get through online orders, how to manage the online orders, and how to express how to get a refund and how to offer politely uh, to get a refund, okay? And it was in unit two. So now in unit three, Customer service. What is the topic for unit three, guys? What is the topic? Customer service. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. This is the video conference number 11. And well, you said the date already. It's September the 2nd of 2021. And let's see what's the first topic of this unit, okay? What is the first topic of this unit? What's the topic? Can you please read it, uh, uh, Kevin? The topic. Pass off Pass fee off. and simple present affirmative. Okay. How to use the pass of B? Ah, sorry. Okay, no oh. problem. <laughs> Again, Kevin, go ahead. Uh, how, how to use pass of B and simple present affirmative. Great, thank you very much, Kevin. We know just a little bit about the past of B, okay? And also we, um, I think we are mastering at some point uh, or at some level the simple present, okay? So this is going to be kind of easier than the last one. It's uh, to practice, okay? Let's see what's the goal for tonight, okay? Our goal for tonight, because it's about customer service too, right? Okay, let's remember that customer service is um, giving help, asking for help, and also a assisting um, uh, we we have to to learn how to manage and how to offer solutions okay to the problems that a customer might have when they purchase a product in our company or when they use a service in our companies okay so let's see can you please read the objective for tonight please Karina participants we will be able to write three sentences using the past of the B and the simple past in affirmative way correctly individually. Okay, now uh, our goal is to do it correctly, okay? Uh, we want to avoid the mistakes tonight because we want to follow a structure, okay? We want to follow a structure. What is the context? Uh, the context is customer service, okay? But before of going to all this about the customer service and so, uh, we're going to talk a little, um, making a little feedback, a short feedback using would and would like to, because this is a topic that we um, maybe is uh, something that we have to strength, okay? Tenemos algo que reinforce. Tenemos que reforzar un poquito el would y el would like to. Entonces vamos a hacer un pequeño feedback acerca de eso y vamos a completar en el manual un ejercicio escrito, okay? Then we are going to talk about the online shopping problems. Uh, with this uh, context, Jason would and would like, like offering the solutions. Then after everything about the feedback, we are going to the past of B, okay? That verb is very important for us and it is very basic, 
okay? Then we are going to talk about some simple present actions or some simple present sentences. Then we're going to write the sentences. You have to write three sentences using the context and also the vocabulary and the grammar correctly. And after that, we are going to have a conversation time in the breakout rooms using those sentences, okay? The session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is for Juan Carlos, okay? So let's start with the feedback. We were talking about the online shopping problems. I mean, the problems that a customer might have in uh, the process of purchasing, for example, before they purchase, maybe they need information or they need to call customer service, right? And during the purchase, for example, um, if the customer can't decide or need some more information about the warranty, they call customer service too, right? And for example, after the purchase, Maybe they could call also call, call customer service, right? Maybe, maybe they could call. Why? Maybe they have a problem with the function of this product. Maybe they, um, the product um, or the customer needs some more information, right? How to return it. Maybe it's broken. Maybe it's faulty. So whatever in, in any part of the process, in any part of the poor chasing process, customers call, right? ¿Por qué creen ustedes que, que llaman los clientes? Les estaba mencionando tres fases, ¿verdad? O tres momentos en que, por ejemplo, un uh, cliente puede llamar. En el proceso de la compra tenemos un antes, un durante y un después de la compra, ¿verdad? Entonces, puede ser que antes de la compra nos llamen a Customer Service, ¿verdad? ¿Qué nos podrían pedir antes de comprar el producto? ¿Qué nos podrían preguntar? What can they ask a customer? ¿Qué podrían preguntar? What do you like? Ok. Mm -hmm. If they... Uh, which product they like, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué otra cosa podría el cliente llamar y preguntar a, a, al servicio al cliente antes de comprar un producto? Maybe de, el, lo vieron en un, en un anuncio, okay, el, el producto, y llaman para hacer alguna pregunta. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas se les ocurren a ustedes? ¿Qué harían ustedes también como clientes? Price. Right. Right. Correct. Ajá. Right. Uh -huh. And how do we ask that for that? How much is it, right? That's the question to ask for the price. How much is it? Okay, what else? ¿Qué otra cosa les pueden llamar para preguntar? O ustedes llaman para preguntar acerca de un producto. Warranty. Ok, the warranty. Mm -hmm. Ok. What else, guys? Color, sizes. Ajá. Esto. Okay, yeah, if, if it's still available, right? Correct. Good, Carla. Uh -huh. So, Juan Carlos said a list like size, colors, dimensions, uh, and other features, okay? The features of a product, the characteristics of a product. ¿Qué podrían llamar para preguntar? The features of the product. ¿Ok? Eso es antes. Ahora, cuando ya lo van a comprar, el momento de la compra, ¿qué podrían preguntar? ¿Qué 
why do customers call to customer service when they are buying the product during they are buying a product? Information about the product. Information about the product, okay, yes. Yes, but if we are, uh, si ustedes se fijan en el slide que tenemos ahí, online shopping, okay? Online shopping. Ubiquémonos en ese contexto, en online, okay? What problems during the customer is purchasing uh, could happen? Uh-huh. Por ahí tenemos una listita que apenas se mira solamente como para, para darles unas pistas, ¿ok? De esto ya lo hablamos en, la clase, en dos clases anteriores, chicos. Cuando están haciendo su orden, ¿qué problemas pueden tener? Quizás no entienden las políticas, ¿verdad? De la garantía, ¿ok? Así como dijo Giovanni, antes de la compra podrían preguntar de la garantía, pero también podría ser en el proceso en que están comprando, ¿verdad? Decir, bueno, aquí dice que, uh, pues es una refrigeradora que, que um, hace hielo, ¿ok? Uh, it's an ice maker included in the, in the refrigerator. Okay, and well, is that the reason why I need a longer warranty or something? Then they call, right? Uh, o por ejemplo, um, ¿qué otra cosa podrían preguntar? Por ejemplo, como dice ahí en el slide, um, complicated navigation, complicated navigation, right? boring interfa interfaces or they want to know about the quality of the product right if it is a b or c quality right maybe they don't understand the delivery time or if the shipping fee is included, right? Si les van a cobrar el envío o no, ¿verdad? Si ya va incluido en el precio, si van incluidos los taxes, todas esas cosas es lo que uno Hola. pregunta. Ajá, exactly, Giovanni, come on. How long does it take to get the purchase? The purchase. Okay, the product. Mm -hmm. Shopping time. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. For example, maybe you are having problems with the payment method. No le acepta su tarjeta, okay? Maybe, right? And then they call customer service and you have to confirm if that um, card that you are using is appropriate, right? Is valid, okay? Then you call customer service. And after that, you call to your bank, right? So. Yes, you have to do a lot of calls and asking about problems and solving problems, okay? Is it problem of plenty? Yo creo que sería lo único con lo que más tendríamos eh, un poco de consulta. Problem of plenty means que hay bastante oferta, okay? Hay bastante oferta y, y como hay tanta, puede ser un problema tanto para la compañía como para el customer. Para la compañía, por la competencia. ¿Verdad? Y pues para el cliente que no se decide cuál tiene el mejor precio, que no se decide dónde mejor comprarlo, ¿verdad? Ok, so that's problem of plenty. Hay mucho. Ok. Hay mucho about the product, who offers the product or, um, yeah, offers, right? Mm -hmm. Offering. Ok, guys, these are problems with the online shopping, okay? That you may have or a customer may have and they are the reasons why a customer call customer service, right? 
correct? Ok, vamos a ver entonces en nuestro manual, en las dos paginitas que les decía. ¿Sí se mira el manual? ¿Se ve o me quedé en el slide? Yes. yes. Ok. Esto es lo que les digo, que se sube y se baja bien rápido. Ok, here, in page 25. Page 25. Cuando el cliente tiene algún problema con su, cuando recibe su producto, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ayer preguntábamos, what options will you give your customers if a product you offer is not on good conditions? Okay, what options or what solutions, what process do you offer to your customer when they have a problem with the product I sold? Okay, then. Decíamos, ¿qué le podemos ofrecer? You would ask a re, I mean, you, you would offer a, a refund or you would offer an exchange. You would offer a replacement. You would offer a repairing, okay? If a problem happens, right? For example, if the problem is with the product. Ok, then, como lo que queremos es mantener a nuestro cliente satisfecho, ¿verdad? A satisfied client. Normalmente llenamos o se llena, ¿verdad? Un formulario. We filled out a form to express all the data, to register, ok? The reasons why this product is returning why this product or why this customer is asking for a refund, why this customer is requesting um, to return the product or to be credited to their credit card or etc. Okay? Cualquier cosa que el cliente esté pidiendo eh, con respecto de que no está satisfecho con la compra que hizo por ese producto y nos está regresando el producto o nos está pidiendo un reintegro, ok, then usually they have this kind of registers, ok. Veamos, what's the name of the company here? What's the name of the seller? Waterlux. Waterlux, ok. There you are. Okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Where is this company located? Mm -hmm. It has two, two names Glenway there, but what it looks is the company. Glenway, yes. Glenway, San Carlos. Okay. There you are. So, do you see the notes it has in uh, the form? I mean, the form has. Let's read them. Number one, please note, water looks customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from date of purchase. Okay. Con esa nota, ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que fijarnos en los datos que vamos a poner o en la información que le vamos a pedir al cliente? Because it says, customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from date of purchase. ¿Qué le vamos a preguntar al cliente para ver si se cumple eso? The day of the... the... Customer buy? Yes, correct. When? When did you buy or when did you purchase this product? Okay, when? Now, let's see. It says to retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise. Okay, retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise. Mm -hmm. 
¿Qué es lo que vamos a verificar? Que vaya el original, ¿verdad? Del comprobante, ¿ok? Eh, todo lo que tenga que ver que se compruebe de esa compra, I mean, que hagan probar esa compra de esa compañía en esa fecha, la cantidad, que realmente sea el color, etc. Por eso dice, of your records and close the original with the merchandise, ¿ok? Tiene que enviar todo lo que compruebe su compra. Y, obviously, the question what will be. Ayer la estuvimos practicando. Okay. Do you have a receipt? Okay. Do you have a receipt? Y aparte, pues tiene que ir el original de este formulario, ¿verdad? De regreso. Okay. So, number three. Use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All items returned will require the original order number recorded on the form so credit can be processed. Okay? Volvamos a leer. Use one line per item. Veamos si eh, tenemos acá eso, si se cumple. Use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. Ah, entonces they are asking how many, right? How many products are they returning? Of these code number of the item, okay? Si tuviera otro código de serie, pues lo ponemos en una línea más, okay? Si te, tenemos estos seis fueran de diferente serie, entonces los ponemos son seis líneas, ¿ok? That's what it means, correct? Only one line per item. Then it says, all items returned will require the original order number recorded on the form so credit can be processed. Si usted no da los códigos ahí, no, no les pone los códigos no se va a poder hacer el, el refund, ok, de esos productos, solo de lo que diga ahí, ok. Leamos entonces los detalles, the stock details, and the important thing over there, ok. Reason code, ok, what's the reason? What are the reasons why these product are returned. ¿Cuáles son las razones por las que están regresando estos items? We see a letter D and a, hey, I don't want to say, and PP, right? <laughs> yeah, a double P here. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but yeah, a D and double P. So let's go and let's read. A, mm -mm. D, uh, dissatisfaction, it's a reason. And then product, mm -hmm. performance. Performance. performance, yes, performance. So dissatisfaction and product performance. What is the item number? What is the item number? Can you read it please, Carlos Eduardo, the item number? Item number, item number B78. Six, nine. Okay, thank you very much. We don't say hashtag here because that's number, okay? <laughs> es que oh. ya tenemos la idea de que cuando vemos el de número decimos hashtag, pero no. En este caso está diciendo el Twitter, número. Right? Okay, number. Yeah, number B7869. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now, how many items of that number are there in this return? process. How many items? Ana Cristina, how many items are they returning? How many items? How many items are they returning? How many? How many? Six. 
Yes, they are returning six items. Okay, six, six, only six items. Six okay. items. Correct, Ana Cristina. There we are. Okay, when did they purchase these products? When? When did they purchase this product? November 23rd, 23rd, 2017. Okay, and what is the order number? Three, four, four, five, 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 four, seven. Thank you. And the explanation of the reason, the relevant reason. Why are they returning this product? What is the problem? Missing parts. Missing parts, correct. Okay, now let's go and answer these questions down here, okay? These two questions. Can you read number one, please, Giovanni uh, Pineda? What? Uh, number one. Yes, please. Yes. What are the reasons that customer wants earphones? Mm -hmm. What are the reasons, guys? Missing parts. Okay, that's the relevant reason. Okay, but according to the code, Mm -hmm. Dissatisfaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you can. Yes. And product performance. Okay. This. Oh, what happened? Ah. Cada vez que quería poner la, la D en vez de D, estaba poniendo bloqueo de mayúscula. Oh, God, what am I doing? Dissatisfaction, okay? Dissatisfaction and product performance. And the relevant reason is missing parts, okay? En realidad lo quiere por eso, ¿verdad? El, el refund, por las missing parts. Okay, now, would the customer get the refund? Would get, okay? Would and get the refund. Would the customer get the refund? What do you, what do you think? Yes, teacher. Okay. Why? Yes, because. Mm -hmm. Because meet request. Okay, great. It meets the requests. Okay. About the refund policies, right? Okay, so, or the requirements. Re, let's say requirements. Requirements. Okay. There we go. Are we okay, guys? Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Now let's see these um, examples, okay? I would change this product. I would change this product. Ayer me preguntaba Carlos Alberto, ¿Cómo se traduciría eso? Bueno, 
And ahí yo le digo uh, que lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? O sea, esa es la idea de esta palabra, que lo va a hacer. Y les hablaba de will, como en un futuro, ¿verdad? Entonces, para hacer un poquito la diferencia entre esos, quizás le pondríamos ia, ¿ok? Al final, o al, al, al final del, del verbo que usamos. Por ejemplo, en este caso, I would change this product. Yo cambiaría este producto, ¿ok? Ese sería como el um, literal, ¿ok? Por eso la traducción pues sería así como más dando la idea de, ¿ok? De que lo va a hacer. Yo cambiaría, pero en realidad es que lo va a hacer. ¿Ok? ¿Correct? Sí, en, sí se comprende. Cambiaría, cambiaría. compraría, está, eh, permanecería, daría, some, uh, yeah, something like that. Ok, let's read it, let's read it. Y veamos cómo se usa gramaticalmente. How do we use this grammatically? I would change this product. Subject, would, what else? What goes next? Verb. Verb. The verb. Ba basic. Yes, in the base form. Uh-huh. And then? Complement. Auxiliar. The auxiliary in this case oh, uh, is would, right? Um, it's not exactly an auxiliary. Auxiliary is like a modal verb, okay? Modal. Es un verbo de modo, modal. So I would change this product. Subject, would, the, bear, the verb in the base form, and a complement, okay? Now let's read the next one. He would buy there again. Okay, he would buy there again, again. Next one, we wouldn't stay in this place. We wouldn't stay in this place. Maybe they didn't like it, right? So we wouldn't stay in this place. Would you give me your information? Would you give me your information? Okay, me daría su información, right? Something like that. Now, veamos entonces, eh, vieron el video que les envié? Por lo menos las primeras tres preguntas, porque yo sé que lo van a ir viendo por partes. Es bastante extenso, son siete minutos, ¿ok? Pero por lo menos las tres primeras, en donde ve, se ve la diferencia entre would like and would like to. Estas que ven acá son con el uso de would like to, como expresando un deseo, ¿ok? Expressing what I want. I would like to means I want pero en una forma más educada, ¿ok? Mm, yeah, we could say educada. Um, no, más formal, más formal, ¿ok? I would like to change this product. I would like to change this product. He would like to buy, to buy there again. They wouldn't like to come back here. Would you like to get a refund? Would you like to get a refund? ¿Ok? Now, I want you to read these sentences. Let's start with Juan Carlos, please. Number one here, I mean, the first sentence in this box. Can you read it, please? I, I could like to... No, no, uh, here, here, here. Do you see here? Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I could say this product. Okay. Can you read the next one, please, Juan Carlos? He would buy, would buy there again. Okay, next one. We could not stay in this place. Okay. Would and you, could you give, give me your information? Thank you very much. Now, Carlos Eduardo, please, can you read this ones? All of them, please. I would change. Oh, yeah. The same. Yes, the same sentence. I would change this product. Okay. Next one. He would buy. He would buy there again. We would. Would. Wouldn't. Stay in place. Wouldn't. Okay. We wouldn't stay in this place. 
he would you give me your information? Okay, uh, would you, would you? Would you give me your information? Okay, thank you very Teacher, much. Uh, yes, tell me. Eh, no, nos ayudaría con la traducción de eso, porque sí, también compuso traducir. Uh, de, de... Más que todo el uso de Google. Ok, um, bueno, acabo de decir así, mire, para que se le facilite un poco, es como yo cambiaría o yo cambiaré, pero es más cambiaría. Si yo le pongo will, es cambiaré, ok, <ríe> pero con would es como yo cambiaría este producto, yo compraría ahí otra vez, ok, ia, agregarle ia al verbo en español, ya. Yeah. Y el lazo. Uh, ¿Me daría su información? Esta. This one. ¿Carlos? Yes, me darías tu información. Yes, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. Now, um, I want to hear Kevin, please. Can you read these same sentences? Kevin? Could you please read these the, uh, same sentences? Um, but teacher. Can you read these sentences, please? Oh, I could change this product. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he would buy there again. Mm -hmm. We work, stay in this place. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Do you give me your information? Okay, thank you very much. Ana del Carmen, please read these same sentences. Sorry, teacher. Can you please read these sentences, these ones? Permítame que voy llegando. Ok, ok. Annie. ¿Cuál, teacher? ¿Cuál le leo? This one. Todas estas de, esta, de este lado. Okay. De wood. Yes. Wood. Wood. I would change this product. Okay. He would buy there again. Mm -hmm. We would. Ay, me, me cuesta el negativo. Okay. We wouldn't. Wouldn't. We wouldn't. Uh -huh. Stay in this place. Okay. Would you give me your information? Okay. There you are. Thank you very much. Now I want to hear um, Ana Cristina. Please, can you read este lado de would like to, por favor, please? I would like to change the product. Mm -hmm. Next one. He would like to buy three again. Okay. They would like to come back here. Okay, wouldn't like, wouldn't. Wouldn't like. Yes. Would you like to get a refund? Okay, would you like to get a refund? Okay. Oh. Refund, okay. Refund. Thank you, Ana Cristina. Thank you very much. Now, I want to see here. Edwin, please. Read these sentences. Okay, teacher. I I will I would like to change these products. He would like to buy their again. Their world their world like to come back here. Okay. Would you like to, Edwin would is them. they wouldn't like. They wouldn't they wouldn't like. To, to come, come back, back here. here. Okay. Would you like to get, to get a refund? A refund. Okay. There you are. Thank you very much. Now, 
Let's see this activity. It says complete the following statements or questions. Okay. Podemos usar el vocabulario que tenemos acá en estas o si ustedes tienen otros ejemplos, pues podemos ponerlos acá. Okay. So, number one. Who wants to participate? Number one. Would you like to share this product? Great. Thank you. Even though here it says, I would like, okay? This is not a question. So the pronunciation has to be like a sentence. I would like to change this product, okay? Thank All you. Right? There you are. Now, number two, Mr. Trujillo, mm -hmm. wouldn't stay in this place. Okay. Okay. Una de las cosas es que cuando usamos would para las preguntas que me hacen Carlos y, y Carlos, both Carlos, uh, acerca de cómo se traduce, miren, no debemos traducir porque nos uh, muchas veces no hay un match, ¿verdad? En el significado, pero eh, por el uso que esta palabra tiene, would, este verbo modal, eh, eh, se conoce o se, se usa para cosas ficticias, por decir así, o cosas que no han sucedido y que podrían suceder, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si vemos el significado en la número dos, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't stay in this place, no ha sucedido, ¿verdad? Pero es algo que podría suceder en el futuro, que no se quiere quedar en ese lugar, no querría quedarse, something like that, ¿ok? You got it? No se quedaría aquí ese señor, ¿ok? El señor no se quedaría aquí. Something. Yeah. Close. Ok. Now, number three. Would she... Aquí sí es pregunta, miren. Would she... Uh -huh. Carlos Roberto, number three. Would she give me a few minutes? Okay, would she give me a few minutes? Okay. And then I write the question mark. Okay, there you are. Now, Number five, I'm sorry, number four. We'd like to. Mm -hmm. With, how do you say? It? With. Uh, with. This one, the four? Uh -huh, with. With. Yeah. With We'd like, like to, to. Mm -hmm. to buy a bicycle. Okay. Okay, there we are. There you are. Number five. Do you Teacher, see the mistakes? Uh -huh. Number uh, four, uh, with guess, 
with uh, remember okay i'm going to remind Sorry. you this no problem no problem i'm going to remind you this here okay would uh por ejemplo si yo digo i would like to vamos a ponerle el pronombre para que veamos eso okay i would se contracta okay is the contraction i'd okay then we have uh, you would equals uh, you'd, okay? You'd. If you see, letter D is the contraction, okay? He uh, would, okay? It's he'd, okay? ¿Cómo sería entonces la de she? Contracción para she would. Mm -hmm. she. She. Correct. She did. She it. Mm -hmm. She. Now it would. It, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Even though this is not uh, so common. Okay. Now um, we say we would. Equals mm. weed. Okay. We. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teach. Okay. And they would equals. Uh huh. They'd. Okay. They'd. Now we'd like to buy a bicycle. Okay. There you go. So here, number five, she wouldn't. Ya se fijaron en el errorcito ahí de dedo que está. Hmm? Work. Yes, work. Uh -huh. But let's say it says wouldn't, okay? <laughs> it doesn't say world. Uh, it's kind of difficult to pronounce that. World, no, it's not possible. <laughs> so wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Who wants to participate with number five? She wouldn't. like to come back here. Okay. There we are. Now, number six. Would you like to give me your information? Okay. Okay. Are we okay with these guys? Teacher, yes, a word. Es un error de dedo. Giovanni? En vez de esa R, es una U, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. Are we okay with this or do you have a question? Any question? No questions? Teacher, y en este no hay estructura así como aprendimos con las otras oraciones. Cómo no, las estuvimos diciendo, este, Ana Cristina, no las hemos escrito, pero las hemos dicho. Vaya, vamos a armarla para que la veamos todos. Va. Dice, el subject, ¿ok? Plus, ¿qué le seguiría al subject en una afirmativa? Would, would, ¿ok? 
Y en una negativa, ¿qué seguiría? Good. Good. Ok. Not, not. Good not. Correct. Uh -huh. Ahora, plus, ¿qué seguiría? What is next? Like to. Uh, oh, eso es, bear. ok, en ese caso, bear. en ese caso iría acá, si hacemos esta estructura del would like to, pero estamos en esta primero, ok, en la de would, ok, después hacemos la de would like, ok, vamos a ver, ok, uh -huh. plus, verb, verb, ok, ¿En qué forma? What's the form of the verb that we use? Base form. Base form. Base form. Base form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plus. And um, complement. Thank you. Okay. Ahí está. Este es para wouldn't, wouldn't. Ahora, si lo queremos para uh, would like to, solo le agregamos acá, ¿ok? Like to. Correct. Ahora hagamos aquí la comparación. Subject. Me voy a llevar este cuadrito para allá. Uh, select. Ok, me lo traigo para acá y vemos. Ok, le voy a quitar el like to para que lo veamos con esta forma. Here you see, subject, I. Would, would. Verb in the base form, change. Ok, and then the complement, this product. Ok, what about the negative? Subject, we, wouldn't, wouldn't, there plus base form, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, plus the verb in the base form, stay, stay, and the complement in this place. Okay, let's read them. I would change this product. We wouldn't stay in this place. Okay. Ahora vamos al otro lado. Yeah. Here it is. Subject plus would or wouldn't like to. Okay. Plus the verb and the base form plus the complement. Then let's do the match. Subject, I would, would like to, like to change the verb and the base form. Even though here is not the base form because we are using two, right? So we don't need to add another two here. And then the complement, this product, correct? What about the negative? They, the subject, okay? Wouldn't like to, wouldn't like to, plus the verb come back. In this case is come back. And then the complement here. Okay? Now, esto es para las afirmativas y negativas. Me voy a traer el cuadrito para acá. ¿Y qué es lo que cambiaría si lo hacemos una pregunta? Vámonos a would. Sorry, teacher. The, the, el significado es el mismo, solo que la otra es más polite, más cortés. Otra vez la pregunta porque no, no escuché el principio. The, El, de estas would and would like is the, es, es lo mismo, solo que es más polite, este, would like. No, son dos diferentes, ok? Son dos significados diferentes. Por eso les decía acá, I would like to significa yo quiero, ok? Ok. Yo quiero, es un deseo, ok? Pero si yo digo I would change, es que en un momento yo lo haría, ok? O sea, no es un deseo en este caso, es que lo voy a hacer, ¿ya? Ok. Como a un futuro, ¿ok? Podríamos decir como a un futuro, algo que podría suceder en un futuro, ¿ya? Ok. 
There you are. Pero este es deseo. I want. Pero que lo voy a hacer en un futuro. Exactamente, que lo va a hacer en un futuro. Pero es este, would. Lo tengo programado para hacerlo. Y eso quisiera hacerlo. Uh, no, este es que quiero hacerlo. ¿Ya? Yeah. Este es que quiero hacerlo, es un deseo. Yo creo que se están trabando en algo que no, no, no amerita, ¿ok? okay would teacher. es hacia un futuro, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. And would like to es un totalmente diferente el significado. Solo estoy diciendo que yo quiero hacerlo, pero en una forma muy polite, ¿ok? O estoy ofreciendo a alguien algo de una manera muy polite, ¿ok? Pero acá, en would, ¿ok? Vamos al otro significado. Would, solito, con el verbo, es como que dijéramos que lo va a hacer en un futuro, ¿ok? Probablemente no ha sucedido, pero sí sucedería, ¿ok? Ia, ia, acuérdense de ia, el final del verbo ia. Ya, yeah, así me ubico yo un poco. ¿Ya? Yeah? Hoy sí. Sí, yes. Ok. Vamos a ver entonces. I don't, I don't understand, teacher. Bien, lo que necesita comprender ahorita, porque no vamos a, util, a hablar de todas las reglas, porque son bastantes reglas gramaticales y son temas muy distintos y separados. Entonces, en este caso solo tiene que comprender nada más que would se utiliza para decir o expresar una cosa a futuro, que la voy a hacer. Pero would like es otro significado diferente porque ya lleva like to, ¿verdad? Ya no solo está would, está would like to. Si se fija, son dos expresiones. Este es un verbo y esta es una expresión, would like to. Eso significa yo quiero. Vamos a poner aquí con un cuadrito para que... Okay, I want. Esto significa would like to. I want. Mm -hmm. Esto no significa, would no significa I want. Okay, son dos cosas muy diferentes. Por eso les envié ese video. Okay, espero que lo vean para que puedan sí, lograr que comprender ver. esa parte. ¿Por qué? Estamos hablando de dos cosas diferentes y aunque uno cuando la está leyendo va a decir, ah, would, ah, pues significa lo mismo. No, no significa lo mismo, ¿ok? Son diferentes usos, ¿ok? You got it? Ok, teacher. There you are. Thank you. Ok. I'm going to erase these things. Y vamos a ir. preguntamos. Ajá. Ah, la, usted quiere la, 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 la estructura. ¿Sí? No. No. Si yo estoy preguntando solo con un word, él está preguntando distinto. Exactamente. Exactamente. No le está preguntando si le quiere dar la información. ¿Ya? Yeah. Uh -huh. En, si solo le está diciendo que por favor se la dé, o sea, que le dé esa información. ¿ya? En, en esta pregunta que tenemos acá, ¿Would you give me your information? ¿Me podría dar su, su información? ¿O me daría su información? Ahora, este sería, ¿Would you like to get, uh, digámoslo con la misma? ¿Would you like to give me your information? ¿Me quisiera dar usted su información? Son dos significados muy distintos. ¿Ok? Necesito que me den el feedback, que sí o que no. De hecho, yeah. yo le he comprendido que en la primera es que le digo que me dé la información, pero puede ser en un futuro, pero me la va a dar. Y en la segunda es que yo le digo que me dé la información, pero es como que yo deseo que me la dé, pero no hay una certeza que me la vaya a dar. Eh, no, en la segunda, ¿no? no, en la segunda es... Eh, 
Uh, bien, con la de la información, sí, tienes razón, uh -huh, Zulema, uh -huh. pero es would you like to. Ajá, sí me la quiere dar. Uh -huh. Pero sea, en realidad lo que está haciendo cuando usted le pregunta si el significado, ese es el significado literal el que usted le está dando, ¿ok? Es el sorry. significado literal de traducción. Ahora, por uh -huh. eso les hablaba yo de da la idea de, ¿ok? Da la idea de... Uh -huh. Un lenguaje muy amable, ¿verdad? En donde le está usted solicitando que le dé la información. ¿Ya? Ok, teacher. Thank okay. you. Ok. Teacher. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you very much. Here we go. Thank you, Carlos. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana del Mi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Oh, Daniel, yeah. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Present. Yes. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Ok. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ok, Wendy. There we are. Ana Delmi, there you are. Ok. Thank you, Ana Delmi. Ok. Now let's go to the, to the slides. Ok. Let me open again this. Okay, here it is. Después de que veamos el past of the, después que veamos el simple present, vamos a volver a ver el pasado de los verbos, okay? So. Here we go. It's 9.15. Okay. Vamos entonces mejor a irnos al manual. And we go to page 30. 30. Okay. Page 30. Cannot share it. Why? We can mean ah. Again. Here we go. Here it is. And let's talk about the verb be. A ver. Let's start with the verb be. Ya sabemos cuál es el verbo to be. Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Conjuguémoslo. I am. 
You are. Young. We are. He is. He is. He is. We are. You are. They are. We are. Okay. Then we are going to talk about the past of B. Do you remember the forms of the past um, of this verb? They were. Okay, I'm going to write first the present. I am, you are, mm -hmm. he is, she is, he is, it is, mm -hmm. uh -huh. we, we are, okay, you are, they are, okay, they are. Now, the past tends, the simple past, okay, for the verb. B, the forms are was and were. Do you see? Was, were. Okay, now let me write this over here. I was. Okay. ¿Cuál sería el de you? Ya lo conocemos un poquito. You were. Correct. You were. Now, he is. He was. He okay. was. He was. Perfect. Now, she? He was. She, she was. was. Okay. It? Was. It was. Okay. And we are? We were. We were. We were. Okay. And they are? They were. They were. They were. They were. Okay. There you are. So, when we are, uh, voy a ponerle un poquito de mayor tamaño porque está un poquito chiquito. Okay, here it's better. Yeah. Okay, what does it mean? It means cero estar, ¿verdad? Es o está. Yeah. O eso está, es, o estamos, o están, ok? Son, ok? Somos, correct. So, if you see here, in the past tense of be, we describe, describe, we could talk about actions, professions, experience, and also we can use adjectives, okay? These adjectives are like giving a qualification of something, okay? So for example, here it says, it was, you see we have here, it was a great experience. What's the experience? We don't know, right? But what was great? The experience, okay? It was a great experience. Fue, ¿verdad? Fue, era. Yeah. Now, the agent is like he or she, right? Was very helpful. Estamos describiendo, if you see, okay? We are describing here. Was very helpful. Okay, the next one, you were on our page. You were on our page. Okay, we can be talking about a place on the website, right? Now, we, if you see, we were excited about the service. Excited, okay, necesitamos esta ED para que esté correcto, okay? We were excited about the service or about service, okay? That's the past of B. So for example, right now I could say, I am a teacher, okay? And for example, I could say I was a Mm, let's say holy. Oh, I'm sorry. I was a stoner. 
Oh, good, a student. Nice, there you are. I was a student. So you are, then we could say a doctor. Estamos hablando de profesiones, ¿verdad? Podemos decir lo que yo soy y lo que yo era, okay? Uh, lo que tú eres y lo que eras antes, right? So you were, um, let's say you were a nurse, mm, even though, right? So he is, mm -hmm. he is, Podemos decir, he was my friend, okay? He is my friend, he was my enemy, right? Mm, like an antonym, right? Now, she is, podríamos decir algo que ella era, veamos. Que ella es, perdón. She is a stylist. Okay, there you are. Or a hair stylist. Yeah. And she was a um, dresser. Okay. Yeah, there you are. Ella es una estilista ahora del cabello y antes pues ella solo era una del, de, del vestidor. Okay. It is... Como tenemos acá, yeah, it is a good experience, right? Para agarrar el ejemplo que está allá. Now, we are in class, yeah? We were at work, okay? Estábamos en el trabajo, now we are in class. If you see before and now, before and now, present and the past, okay? So let's continue here, okay? Y veamos que tenemos el simple past, okay? For example, En la listita que les compartí en el módulo pasado, ¿la tendrán a la mano? Ahorita la voy a enviar para los que no la tienen. Ok. Sorry. Can I stop? El pasado simple de los verbos, de todos los otros verbos. Ok. Es uh, gramaticalmente diferente a como utilizamos independiente el verb to be. Exactamente como en el presente, ¿ok? Que son totalmente independientes. El verbo to be, ¿ok? De la gramática de los otros verbos, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Cabal, aquí la tenía. Verb list. May I open this up? Just to confirm. Okay, here we go. My twenty. Here we go. un poco. Hmm. Sorry, guys.
There it goes. Oof. Okay, send the PDF over there. And I want just you to remember the regular and the irregular verbs. What are the regular verbs? What are the regular verbs? ¿Cuáles son los verbos regulares? Los que cuando van al pasado. Uh -huh. No. Cambian su raíz, ¿verdad? Solo agregan. Una terminación. ¿Cuál terminación? ED. ED. E -D. E -D. Ok. Ahora les va a servir mucho. Aquel video que vimos acerca de la pronunciación, ¿verdad? De esas terminaciones. Ok. Ahí en su listita. Ok. Ahí en su listita. Vamos a la listita. Okay, I'm going to say some verbs and you are going to find out what's the past of the verb, okay? Let's see, and you are going to tell me if it is regular or, or if it is irregular, okay? So, ask, ask. 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 Uh -huh. Regular. Ask. Regular. Correct. Buy. Boat. Uh -huh. Irregular. Irregular. Okay. Now let's see. Come. Okay. Um. Came. Okay, thank you, Linda. Came. Is it regular or is it uh, irregular? Irregular. 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 Okay. irregular. Give. Okay. Okay. Is it regular or is it irregular? Regular. 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 Okay. Do. Does. The past tense of do? Did. 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 The past tense of do is did. Did. Okay, did. great. Eat. Ate. 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 Correct. Eight. Go. When. When. Okay, great. Is that a regular verb or an irregular? Irregular. Irregular. Okay. Irregular. No. 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 New. 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 Okay. Is the second column. Okay. Is the second column where you are going to look up the uh the past simple. Okay. Or the simple past tense. Okay, make. Made. 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 Okay, regular or irregular? Irregular. Regular. Okay. okay, now pack. 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 Pack.
Okay. Is that a regular one or an irregular one? Regular. Regular. Okay. Pay. 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 Uh huh. Paid. 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 Okay. Paid. Regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. Okay. Put. 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 Okay. Put. Yeah. Now, call. Call. Oh. Mm -hmm. Call. Repeat, teacher. Call. Check. I was here. Mm -hmm. Same. No, it's not in the list. Now I, I checked it out. Call, call. It's a regular okay. verb and it ends in a D. Okay, so it's called, cold. Okay, cold. yes, call. Yeah, make a call, a phone call. Yeah, call, cold. Call. Yes, work. Yeah, work. Work. Working. Working. Uh huh. Work. Work. Okay. Invent. Invented. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Play. Play. Played. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. There you are. Return. 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 Okay. Returned. Returned. Spend. 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 Yes. Spend. Spend. Spent. Mm. Spent. Yes. Spent. Mm. Stay. 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 No. Stay. 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 Understand. Understood. Understood. Okay. There you are. Understood. Yes. Right. Road. Okay, there you are. There you are. Okay, and the last one, want. 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 Wanted. Wanted. Yeah. Wanted. Uh-huh. Yes, wanted. Mm -hmm. So now you see the importance of learning how to pronounce these verbs, okay? How to pronounce the uh, ed ending, okay? And remember, ed ending depends, I mean, the pronunciation depends on the a letter that the verb finish, okay? So we have to be aware of that. I will resend that video and please practice, okay? Una buena parte es la pronunciación, ¿verdad? En el aprendizaje del inglés, así que, eh, pues debemos de dedicarle un poquito, ¿verdad? A la práctica de la pronunciación. Así que voy a enviarles un video más tarde acerca de la pronunciación de, esa fin, de ese final, ED. Es un video largo porque hay infinidad de determinaciones de verbos, ¿verdad? Entonces, aunque lo vayan viendo parte por parte, ¿ya? pero van a ir aprendiendo 
exactamente cómo se pronuncia, ¿ok? Ahorita tuvimos así como duda, ¿verdad? Leerlo. Uh, ¿Será entero o será solo? ¿Será it or t? Right? Or d. Yeah, three pronunciations. Now, we are going to do this. We go to a conversation. Uh, no, no, not yet. Not yet, not yet. I'm sorry. Let's go to where we were, where we were in the manual. We were in the manual here. Se fue el WhatsApp ahí. Se me fue todo. Ya ven, abrí el que no quería. El manual, el manual. Sorry, guys. Vamos a ir a hacer estas oraciones, ¿ok? Solamente para que se vea y diferencien la forma gramatical, ¿ok? Después vamos a repetirlas y practicarlas y nos vamos a la conversacioncita que eh, para practicar otra vez would and would like, ¿ok? Solo déjenme compartir el manual. Bien, aquí tenemos dos cajitas de ejemplos, ¿verdad? Ya leímos cómo se usa, how to use the be in the past, ¿ok? The be in the past tense. We have two forms, two forms, was and where, ¿ok? Was and where. And let's remember the forms for the past simple tense. We have the irregular verbs. We have the regular verbs that end, uh, that end in ed. They have ed ending. So let's read them. Ya leímos estos. Now let's read this ones. I gave my account information. I gave my account information. Okay. He called yesterday at night. He called yesterday at night. The program worked well. The program worked well. They bought that product last week. They bought that product last, last week. Okay, so if you see, we use exactly a, the same a grammatical structure, okay? The subject as any sentence, un, como una afirmativa, ¿verdad? Sería el sujeto, luego viene el pasado del verbo, el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? En este caso es el be en pasado y luego el complemento, ¿sí? Now, veamos acá, el sujeto, el verbo, ya sea regular o irregular, ¿ok? En su forma del pasado simple y luego el complemento. Ok, now let's go and write the sentences with the words provided using past of be or simple past. Ok. A ver, tenemos esas palabras, ¿ok? Vamos a escribir estas oraciones usando esas palabras que nos han dado. ¿Ok? Veamos qué verbo es. En la número uno. What verb is it? Be. Right? Be. So we need the past tense of be. Was or where. ¿Ok? So let's try to complete this sentence. I'm going to open a text box here and you tell me okay you tell me i was, was 
interested product. Interested? Product. Mm, ¿Qué nos faltaría? I was interested on the product. Ok. Nos faltaba on the. Ok. Podríamos poner on this, on that. Yeah. Correct. Ok. Ya hicimos la primera. Ahora es su turno. Vamos a ver. Number two. Ajá. De aire en diciembre. Remember on December, okay? okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next one, number three. She real, she real, she was real. Ok, aquí en este caso, Giovanni, no necesitamos el to be, sino que nada más el pasado simple del verbo. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Real is irregular, uh, she real. Yes, why? Why is it irregular? Because... Ajá. Eh, mantiene su base, su forma base. Ok. ¿Es regular o es irregular? Veamos, irregular. recordemos un poquito. Irregular. 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 Ok. It's irregular. ¿Qué es lo que cambia? What La is... pronunciación. Pronunciación. La pronunciación. Es real. Yes. Red. Yes. Then we write it. In the same spelling, okay, she read. Mm -hmm. The police. The policies. The policies. Okay. We say police, no. Si decimos police, estamos diciendo los policías, okay? Yeah. Pero si decimos the policies, de policies o policies, ¿ya? Yeah. Entonces estamos diciendo las políticas, ¿ok? The policies, the policies. Correct? Number four. The supervisor gave me a discount. Mm -hmm. Hey, ya se la dieron. Este era punto regalado, yeah. chicos. Yeah, it was a gift. Yes. <laughs> okay, number five. Uh -huh. Cinco minutos. They send. They. Send. Can you spell that for me, Linda? S E M T. Correct. There you are. Okay. Now they sent the contract. Mm -hmm. okay. Two. 
Es el pasado de B, ok? Es the past of B. He was disappointed. Okay. Disappointed. Okay. Disappointed. A ver. Pongámosle un complemento. ¿Por qué estaría decepcionado o molesto? It was disappointed. Why? What for? Why? Mm -hmm. He was disappointed. Mm -hmm. Un complemento. Repro of the exam. Ah, good. Because he didn't pass the test, right? Okay. Didn't pass, and in vez de repro, sería a failed. Failed the exam. Okay, failed. Okay, he was disappointed. Coma. He didn't pass the exam. Now, si se fijan acá, excited. Okay, que tenemos aquí arriba. Sería como el opuesto de disappointed. Okay. En este caso podríamos haber dicho, he was disappointed about the service. Okay. You got it? Otro ejemplo, right? He was disappointed about the service. Are we okay so far? Are we okay so far? Okay, now it's your turn. I need to hear one sentence each, okay? Voy a ir diciendo un nombre y me regalan una oración usando was, usando where, okay? Correct? Yes, okay, there we go. Carlos Alberto, please. Okay. He bought the uh, motorcycle. Okay, good. That's past uh, simple. Ahora, con was y con where, okay? Um, uh, he, he was uh, by the motorcycle. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yo creo que es la forma del, del, <laughs> del ¿cómo se llama? del manual, ¿verdad? Que tenemos la comparación. Al hacer la comparación no quiere decir que es lo mismo, ¿ok? Al hacer la comparación vemos la diferencia, ¿ok? Was a were, ¿ok? Esas dos formas del verbo be se usan totalmente independientes y no necesitan otro verbo porque ellos mismos son el verbo, ¿ok? Ahora, en, la, en el otro caso, necesitamos el verbo porque necesitamos decir la acción, ¿ok? Entonces, la acción en este caso es como en español, ¿verdad? Ser o estar, básico en todo el idioma. Entonces, okay, lo que yeah. tenemos que ver es el uso independiente de otro verbo. Entonces, sería, por ejemplo, ¿ok? Este es un ejemplo. I, como el que estaba ahí en la, en la cajita de ejemplos. I was excited about the service. Okay. Excited mm -hmm. es un adjetivo, no es un verbo ahí. 
¿ok? Excited, está describiendo cómo se sintió con el servicio, ¿ok? En ese momento cuando usted es, eh, cómo estaba, ¿ok? Su estado de, de ánimo, su emoción, su sentimiento, ¿ok? Was, I was excited about the service. I was interested in the product or on the product. I uh, was uh, I was at the store. Okay, estaba en la tienda. Okay, uh, I you were excited about the new model of the computers. Okay, of computers. Yeah, estoy usando lo, el mismo vocabulario que está ahí. Ok, es muy diferente a usar el, pre, el pasado simple, ok, del verbo, ¿sí? la acción en tiempo pasado. Ok, bien, vamos a ver, Carlos Alberto, let's start with one example using was and where. He was a salesman of the company. A good, a salesman, yeah, good. Uh -huh. um, where uh, you were, <laughs> no, no una profesión uh, o describiendo algo, la acción. Uh, yeah. You were, you were uh, chef. In you were a chef. Okay, great. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Now let's listen to Linda, please. Using was, using where. You decide there. Okay, I was at work yesterday. Great. In the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were excited for the soccer game. Okay, yeah, we were excited. Hey, hey and uh, do you know about the results of that uh, of that match? No, the national soccer team yeah. was playing I tonight. I study English teacher. I know see that match. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, because I see that you're like this. Ah, that is why. Ha ha, Carlos Roberto, tell us. Aha, we got you. Thank you very much, Silvio. I didn't know it was the time. But if you see, look, look, I'm supporting. Yeah, this game. Yeah. Hey, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You. Mm, look, 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 look. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you are. <laughs> yes. Okay. They. Mm. Uh, yeah, th that's a good example too, right? They were playing soccer, right? We were studying. Yeah, <laughs> there you are. We were in English class. There you are. Good examples. Thank you very much, Silvio. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, thank you very much, Linda. It's a very nice example. Now, what about, are we winning? Are we losing? Do you know? Zero, Tight. Zero. Tight. Okay. Zero, zero. Oh, okay. There we are. Well, never lose your hope, right? <laughs> Is it exciting or was it exciting? The first uh time was exciting no the first part the first 45 minutes were they excited exciting no aha uh -huh. i know you're in class guys i know you're in class there you are excellent now let's listen to karina please give us an example using was mm, i was in the university one year ago Great. If you see, she's using um, time expression in the past, ago, okay? Hace, ago, a year ago. There you are. Thank you very much, Karina. Can you use where in a sentence? Um, we were born 
in El Salvador. Okay, we were bored, okay, in El Salvador. Okay, but now we aren't. <laughs> okay, there you are. Let's listen to Carlos, please. Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Eduardo, yes, please. Okay. Um, we were old friends. We were old friends. Old friends. Okay. 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 Um, I was a bad student. Okay. Okay. But now you are not. Uh, <laughs> I pretend not. <laughs> okay. You try. You try harder. Okay. <laughs> there you are. Juan Carlos, please. Okay, I I was a student. Uh, we are attentive to the class. Okay, we were paying attention, right? There you are. Nice. Suleima, please. She was in supermarket. You were very serious. Okay, you were very serious. There you are. Nice. Good examples. Ana Cristina, please. I was an accounting assistant. Okay. I were a general general. I were a content general. Okay. Para I is was, para you, we, and they is where. Ok, entonces el sujeto hay que cambiarlo en esa segunda oración. Ok, el sujeto puede ser you, we, or they. Y ahí usted puede poner el nombre de quien usted quiera también, ¿verdad? I is was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, it's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah. So, quedamos pendientes con el breakout room para la conversacioncita. Les voy a enviar la conversación y les voy a enviar ese video para la pronunciación, okay, de los verbos. There you are. Let me take the attendance. for the third time. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana del Mier Present Herrera teacher. Morales. Ok. Ana del Mier Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Ok, Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Lina Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Wendy, are you there? No. Okay, people. Okay. Juan Carlos, are you staying? Yes, it's Okay, then everyone. 
uh, please do your homework and let us meet tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Hello, Juan Carlos. Hello, teacher. Eh, teacher, yo quisiera eh, uh -huh. que, como si me puede, como una retroalimentación, cuando usar Ken en Good. Y es que, es que como hay varias cosas parecidas a Good, eh, Want, want Ajá, entonces confundo un poco eh, uh -huh. esas palabras. Ok. Um, en este caso, Juan Carlos, estamos viendo, estos se llaman modal verbs. Voy a poner la... la um, la pizar. Board. The modal verbs at this moment, uh, we have learned they are, let me remember, can, could, okay? They express, por eso decimos, no es que significan, okay? Porque no hay un significado um, certero. Ok, en el que yo le diga literalmente significa esto, porque le va a significar una cosa que no la, lo va a dejar muy satisfecho en la traducción. Por eso yo okay. hablo de expresa o da la idea de. Ok, entonces estos son, voy a poner arriba el tema, the topic here. Modal, cool. uh -huh, modal verbs. Ok, at this moment. We studied can and could. And the purpose or the um, use of these two verbs are asking for information, okay? In a politely way, okay? Like this, right? We are gonna say politely, yeah. Asking for information, it's one of the uses, okay? And what is the other? Request or, or requesting, yeah? Requesting, yeah? Okay. Requesting and offering, okay? In a good manner, okay? In a good manner. Que se sienta eh, no directo, ni muy fuerte, ni, ni pesado, Cortes. sino que... Eso, polite, polite, yeah. We are like in a courtesy manners, okay? So can and could, those are the uses, the uses. So, okay. eh, lo voy a hacer así primero y luego nos vamos a ir a los slides para ver los ejemplos que hemos visto en la clase, okay? Requesting and offering, voy a quitar de aquí polite y lo voy a pasar para abajo. Politely. Now, we have may and we have might. Might. Yes. Estos son dos um, verbos que expresan posibilidad, possibility. Okay. Both. Both express possibility. Ahora, may express permission, okay? Permission, asking for permission and giving permission. Usamos may para dar permiso y para pedir, pedir. permiso, okay? De una manera muy cortés, muy educada, muy polite, very polite, okay? And, mm, Podríamos decir possibility, también podríamos decir probability, okay? 50-50, right? 
the probability. Okay. Yeah. No. May, may es el que dijo que casi no se usa. Eh, no, might. might. Might es el que no se usa para el permission. Okay? Ah, okay. No es que está vedado, ¿verdad? No, sí lo, va, lo puede encontrar como dando permiso, pero ya hoy ya no es común. Más en el inglés americano ya no se usa eh, sí. might, se usa may. Incluso para probabilidad y posibilidad se usan indistintamente, ok, may and might. Y eso nos okay. viene a complicar a nosotros que estamos aprendiendo, ok, a ustedes que están aprendiendo que no han tenido ese primer acercamiento, les complica un poquito, pero eh, realmente es pues cuestión de práctica, ok. okay. It's practice. Now, let's see. Uh, tenemos may and might y de ahí teníamos would. Y vimos uno de los usos también, would like to. Would like. Uh -huh. Ahora, ¿cuál es el contexto y cuál es el objetivo de ver estos verbos en este módulo? Es que estamos eh, aprendiendo. We are learning how to communicate with the customer. Okay? Or, as a customer, how to communicate with the company I buy my products or I do my purchases, ¿ok? Entonces, este es el contexto en donde utilizamos este vocabulario, ¿verdad? Muy polite, muy polite, very polite. Because a strange one, I mean, you are not going to go, uh, perdón, no le va a ir a hablar a alguien o a la señora del supermercado. Hey, ¿qué onda vos? No, right? It's not possible. So you are going to say, good evening, good morning. Uh, could you please help me with this? Yeah. Could you please show me where the milk is? Okay. Or you can say, um, I, may I take this um, milk for this price, for example? Okay, like requesting, yeah. Um, or may I, uh, what, 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 may I come in, okay, in an office, ¿verdad? Usted va a entrar a una oficina, usted pide permiso para entrar, incluso en su trabajo, para una reunión, hey, may I come in? No le decir, no se va solo a entrar, ¿verdad? Yeah, so these are manners, to show manners. Now, we have the other would and would like the kind of probability to okay but would like to significa i want okay pero en una manera polite right. yeah mm -hmm. entonces se usa para yes um, podríamos decir que sí okay request por eso es que no podemos traducirlo okay, okay. porque da la idea de uh -huh. request um Pero sí, si usted lo va a traducir, puede decir yo quiero o yo quisiera, ¿ok? Podría ser, ¿ya? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, requesting politely. ¿Ya? Yeah. Y hay niveles, ¿verdad? O sea, ¿qué es más polite que qué? Por ejemplo, can uh, es para incluso informal. Yeah, es muy informal, se puede usar en el ámbito informal, pero could es un poquito más formal, ¿ok? May and might son formales. Would and would like son formales, ¿ok? O for, para hablar de una manera muy formal en el trabajo, con los clientes, con el vendedor, o con mis compañeros de trabajo de otros departamentos, ¿ya? Yeah? Someone that I don't have a close relation, yeah, or a friendship relation, yeah. Okay. Alguien a quien no le digo que onda vos, right? Okay. <laughs> you got it, I think, right? Okay. Now let me let me go to the to the slides and show you the the examples. Bueno, hasta este momento cómo vamos? How are sí. we doing so far? Are we okay? Sí, ya, ya le entendí la diferencia. Ok, ok. ¿Do you want to see the examples? Uh, yes. Yes, ok. 
let's go to the slides. And in the slides, we have some examples to show the meaning, okay? All right. Here we have may and might. Let's see may and might first and then can input. Vamos a poner en el básico para poder ir viendo las otras. Okay. Aquí tenemos may and might. Here we have may and might. If you see the examples we have. Possibility. Okay. Probability. Permi permission. Yes. Possibility, probability, and permission. Permission, remember, may. May. Yes, may. Possibility, probability, may and might. Okay. So the first one, it says, it looks like we might made a mistake. If you see, might made a mistake. Might. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, no le estoy diciendo, asegurando que cometimos el error. Hmm. It's probable. Yeah. There is a possibility that we made a mistake. Okay. okay. So we are going to give you the refund, but I don't accept the, that my company is guilty for a mistake or for a wrong process, right? So it looks like we might make a mistake. The next one, it says, these might be the most difficult decisions she, should, she would ever make, okay? These might okay. be, okay? Might be. Y si lo cambiamos y le ponemos may? Uh, uh -huh. Sería I, igual. No. no, ahí viene el significado diferente, ¿ok? This, Porque aquí viene y diría, this may be, ahora necesito algo. Porque may be, la frase may be es quizá. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Acuérdese que hay una frase ya establecida que eso significa may be. ¿Sí? ¿Conoces esa frase? Ajá. Quizá, okay. tal vez, right? Entonces, si yo digo, this may be is, tengo que decir, ok? This may be is the most difficult decision. Necesitamos okay. ese is. Entonces, por eso estamos, this might be the most difficult decision. Son dos significados que dan una idea similar, ¿verdad? Pero se pueden usar incluso indistintamente. Ya, yeah? puede okay. decirlo de una manera como de la otra. Okay? ¿Ok? Y va a significar algo similar. ¿Ok? Eso es may and might. Ahora, en permission, may I have this? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Asking for permission. ¿Ok? ¿Me puedo sentar? ¿Ya? Yeah? Ahora, esta última que está acá, it may... It may take a few minutes. Ajá. Puedo si le tomar... cambiamos may, ¿hay diferencia o no hay diferencia? It may take a minutes. Ahí no hay diferencia. No, Eso me refiero not... yo cuando hablamos que en el inglés americano, may and might, Es indiferente. Indiferente. Ok. Uh, puede ser. It may take a few minutes or it might take a few minutes. Y no cambia el significado. Ok. okay. Está diciendo que ni modo, pues, va a tardar. <laughs> yeah. Ahora, okay. vamos a can and could. Y veamos los ejemplos. Asking for information. Y, um, ok. Sí. Requesting. And offering politely, okay? Requesting and offering politely and asking for information. Aquí es donde cuando hablamos por teléfono es el más común realmente. Can and could es el como el de todo el tiempo. Es el más básico, pero es el más común utilizado. Okay. Entonces, can I have your name? Could you spell that for me? ¿Puede leer los que siguen? Uh, can, I, can I have your phone numbers. Could you tell me your address? Mm -hmm. Can I take a message? Mm -hmm. Could you take a message? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what the delivery that is? Okay, delivery date. Ahora, mire, hay una cosa, por ejemplo, can I take a message? 
¿Qué sería? ¿Una requesting o una offering? Are you offering or are you requesting? Uh, um, requesting. Ahí estoy ofreciéndome a tomar Ofre el mensaje, ¿ok? Can I take a message? Puedo tomar mensaje. Ah, yes. Okay. Ahora, si yo le digo, could you take a message? Podría. Le estoy solicitando que lo haga. Tomar ¿verdad? un mensaje. Okay. Ajá, le estoy requesting. Requesting. Yes. Y en esta, can I take a message? Yo offering. me ofrezco. Polite offering. Yes. Polite okay. offering. Asking for information, your name, your address, your phone number. Okay. This is information. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Information. Can I ask you what the delivery date is? Okay. And remember to use please with all of them, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. You can use okay. please. Now, I don't know if it is okay till here. Yes, teacher. Okay. If you have any other question, please remember that you can reach me through the WhatsApp chat. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. My pleasure. Have a good night, Juan Carlos. Good night, teacher. Okay. Bye. Bye.